Hey everyone, welcome back to Alex Mustang Garage. Uh, today we're going to do an engine replacement, inline six cylinder, um, on a 66 Mustang Coupe, gorgeous little uh, blue coupe here. Um, but we are having problems with the cylinder head and it's just becoming harder and harder to find like six cylinder engine parts. So we, we were able to find like an entire engine and so like this thing, because it has like so many problems, we're just gonna do a whole engine replacement and we're gonna film it and show you all the little things that you like need to do to pull this engine out and put another one in and let's get started. So like first and foremost, we've already pulled the valve cover off because we had to rob the rocker arm assembly for the new, for the new engine. Um, but we're just gonna kind of start by doing all these little things. Um, and these may be kind of like obvious to you, like taking off the carburetor and draining the radiator and taking off hoses and things like that, but we're just going to do it anyways. And spark plug wires are going to come off. Sometimes it's just nice just to pull the whole cap off. Oh, first things first, safety first, disconnect your battery. You should always like disconnect your battery whenever you start anything major. Battery is disconnected. We're just undoing all these little things for the carburetor. Like this is your distributor vacuum advance line that we're just disconnecting because I just want the carburetor out of the way. Okay, so here's just like the hot air choke tube. That's not a factory tube. I, it looks like a homemade tube. Okay, so like some of this stuff, you don't have to exactly do it this way. I just like to have stuff out of my way. This is, that's just kind of like one of my preferences. I like to disconnect the fuel lines and anything that might like get damaged or something like that. Fuel supply line from the pump to the carb to get uh, that out of my way. Now I'm going to disconnect the supply line from the tank. That's gonna be disconnected. Um, we're gonna have to disconnect these wires for the ignition coil. Okay. Disconnecting our ignition coil feed here. You're just checking your oil pressure sender, your temperature sender, and that little harness can just be kind of tucked away out of the way. There's the return spring. Just kind of pop that so it's like as out of the way as possible. This is your PCV valve hose. start draining the radiator because we're going to have to drain that so most of these radiators are going to have a, a pet cock a drain down here at the bottom so we're just going to get that draining you're going to need to disconnect this tube for your transmission shift modulator if you have an automatic So uh, what I'm going to be working on now is just kind of gaining clearance uh, between you know, the engine and the radiator. So like I'm going to take off the belt, I'm going to take out the fan, I'm going to remove the radiator. The alternator, like rather than disconnecting all the wires, I can actually just remove the alternator and just kind of let it sit right here. That way I'm not like messing with those wires at all. That, that'll all stay the same.
Okay, alternator now can come off. And I can like just lay it down right here. I will have to disconnect that ground strap though. So the I just like to put that bolt back in its bore just so I don't lose it. And then that's also your ground for your negative battery. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect this uh, starter wire. Moving on to the radiator. Just gonna take the hoses off. So if you're, if you're having a hard time getting these uh, uh, radiator hoses to come off, I like using these 90 degree picks. You can get it in underneath and just kind of break that old seal. They just kind of seal up. And now you can get a good twist on it. Piece of cake. Piece of cake! <laughs> so your radiator, we're gonna take the radiator out. This is pretty easy also. So like, especially if you don't have like an air conditioning car, you know, you have one, two, three, four bolts on this automatic transmission car. We have to disconnect our cooler lines here and here. And of course, not to forget about the lower radiator hose. Be careful because like you can be turning this one and you want like that fitting to like stay on the radiator so you need to get another wrench to hold that fitting on this little half inch right there how you remove a radiator from your 65 and 66 Mustangs. Okay, fan. If you have power tools, it's like, these are usually not that tight. They'll just come loose with a simple air ratchet. Sometimes that stuff kind of just gets stuck on there. Okay, yeah. we'll just take off this adapter. Yeah. Looks so good. Still have two bars. Oh, on the camera battery? Mm hmm. Assembly. You can just kind of lay it out of the way. Okay, so the starter just has like these three, one, two, three bolts there. It looks like half inches. Okay, so to get that top bolt there on the starter, you can actually like get some extensions and like come behind the exhaust manifold. Makes it like way easier. I would advise getting that bolt out first because once you undo the other two, the weight of the starter is gonna be on the last bolt. And those old, these old starters are actually pretty heavy. And there 
there's your starter. There we are. Okay. So, so from here, like I've done like everything that I want to do up top. So now we're just gonna raise the car in the air. thing we're going to do because like essentially the hood just kind of gets in the way when you're trying to actually like lift this up high enough and get it out of the car so like unfortunately we have to take the hood off so what I like to do though before we take the hood off is like mark the locations like for the alignment just so it's like easier to uh, get it back into play so we're going to like take put some tape markings around that Shoulder goes underneath as you wrench the bolts. Yeah, they take the pressure off. And then once that comes off, you're like, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you, you'll you'll be able to stabilize it like just with your shoulder and your hand underneath here. Yeah, because you have the cross. Right. And then we'll just then we'll go backwards. Thank you. 
very well. Okay, so it seems like we don't have like a fancy dancy like lift plate for a six cylinder. Just kind of show you what I've done is we got a bolt through here the back of the block with a chain through it. This chain has a bolt in the nut to create a loop. And we've come all the way across. And we're going to use the alternator bracket with the bolt through. And we have a series of hooks and chains. And now we have a pretty strong lifting chain to, to haul this thing out of here. So we'll see if that works. So like right now, like the bell housing bolts are all out. Um, the only thing holding this engine in place are the uh, engine mounts themselves. But we put a floor jack with a block of wood under the transmission to support the transmission so it kind of stays relatively in the same position once we actually like disconnect this thing and pull it out. So that's where we're at and we're gonna undo these, these mounts. So underneath here like is the actual mounting nut. So like you can undo that and pull it out of here. You can undo these, you can undo those. I'm gonna just undo the one. So, maybe. Woo, that was tight. I guess I should have loosened it while we're up in the air. Sometimes the rookie knows. Yep, yep. So she should be 100% free. So what we're gonna do is just kind of start slowly lifting up. transmission kind of starts to separate. However, sometimes it needs a little bit of help. Okay, if you can see, the bell housing has started to separate. But we're just going to try and help it by just kind of Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you just gotta watch your side. 